Corrupt cops are everywhere, plaguing each and every police department in America. But sometimes they mess up, and that's when they realize it's all over. Just like this first group of cops who arrested the wrong guy and tortured him for no reason. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I know what you picked up. I know what you picked up over there, okay? What I picked up? Yeah. Get out of the car. What, what, no, I ain't getting out the car till y'all tell me what's going on. We're now. about to tell you what's going on. Come on no, out. No, bro. What, what, what's going on? Right, let me record this. Y'all okay. got y'all. Whoa, whoa, what y'all got y'all? Yeah, we're recording right now, so come on what's out. What's going on? Got the car. Yeah, come on out. Come on out. Oh, no, no, no. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. Well, we're telling you, giving you a lawful order. If you don't get out, you're about to get ripped out of the car. Well, go ahead. So don't. I got a back problem. Don't rip me out. I'm not trying to do that, so come on out. Come on out. We'll explain it to you. We're going to tell you, dude. Come on. Step out of the car. If, let me go. No, I'm not letting you go. Bro, let uh, me go, This is your last bro. chance, man. No. You're, get the f*** out. Get out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Essentially, since Barano and his gang in uniforms were part of the narcotics surveillance team, they thought they were protected under a warrant, thinking that this made them invincible from the law. Despite Mr. Miles crying and demanding to know why this was happening to him, the officer has no words. This once again a display of his power as he thinks that he doesn't have to comply with what Officer Barano thinks is definitely a criminal at this point. A fact about which he would later find out how wrong he actually is. What's going on? Listen, what are, what are you <laughs> They lost sight of the box, and this car left. We stopped it. He didn't want to get out. We had to extract him. It's not there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we got snipe. Uh, them lookers. As Barano explains that they were watching over the specific box they knew had the drugs and lost sight of it. This is what they use as a pathetic excuse to justify their extraction methods. Despite not being able to confirm that the box is nowhere near Miles' vehicle. Naz. Naz. It's on the porch still. This is the moment that Barino truly realizes how badly he had just messed up. Not only did he set off a false alarm, but also manages to ruin a poor innocent man's day and get him sucker punched to the face and neck. He's been pacing around, okay, but um, it has to... Um, Somebody's got to grab it and bring uh, it in. Yeah, ask, ask Jamie uh, if that's good enough for us to go in. And, uh, well, somebody has to grab it, somebody has to take possession of it. Let me call, um... Dude, there, he was getting all locked yeah. up, so... Just uh, deal with him, we'll probably just kick, I mean, again, we have... Well, we might. Right. So just, um, make sure he's okay when EMS is here, I'm okay. Okay. Who punched me in my face? Be honest. I ain't worried about what you're doing, what's going on. Just take me to jail or somebody punch me in my face. Get your hands off me, you man. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. That's why I'm sitting here, man. It's wild to see how quickly these hypocrites change their attitudes. When they go from not even replying to Miles' questions and getting him hurt to being worried about his well being. I'm gonna go get a fucking dog. If y'all won't come down, this shit will act, bruh. Being what? Y'all telling people to step out of the vehicle? I don't know what the fuck. No, I'm 42. 
Well, you probably only, should. People getting killed, y'all talking about, oh, step out the vehicle. That's not the way to ask people, man. Come on, man. I work for a fucking living, bruh. That's some bullshit, man. Come on, I, I, tell me what's going on. Well, somebody hit me hard, too. I think my child broke, bro, for real. That shit hurt, man. Somebody going to jail for real behind this shit. Y'all, hey, they, hey, call somebody. They punch me in my face. Hey, bro, get your motherfucking hand on me. I probably can't take you, but I bet you I'll take your mother. Get your hand on me, bro. For real. One of y'all boy punch me in my I gotta go back into my front, my children and my grandchildren at home, and they gonna have, I'm gonna have a black guy to call y'all motherfucker. What a black cop there? Hey, damn, black cop. Call your 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 black cop. The cops do nothing to calm him down or reassure him that he's not at fault even after discovering the box of drugs still on the porch. You want to search it? What? This car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. C continue to search. I mean, we have, I need everybody uh, ID enough. We'll get a dog, get a dog, because right now he's going to say no. I, I mean, we'll, he didn't pick up the package. So let's get a dog, make sure there's probable cause. We search the car. I mean, I already pumped the trunk for safety, but. I'll get 8 7 in route. Yeah. I have to call LJ. Um, they tell me sh 109. It's shocking to see how they still want to extend this embarrassment of an investigation by bringing in a drug dog to try and sniff out the non-existent weed in Miles' car. Come on, man. I want everybody called. Everybody called. I am like, bro, man, my face hurt, bro. How you understand? Let me put you in your face. What you understand that? Because I'm mad, bro. I get that. No, I ain't nobody be mad. I bet I'm older than you, bro. Thank you. Now, why not be mad? I'll pay my motherfucking taxes and shit, man. Entirely unhappy with the situation and with nothing but rage on his mind, Miles begins to threaten the entire horde of pigs that he would come after then with a lawsuit, something that they are surely not going to forget. They will be mad pissed if I come back with a black eye, bro. Imagine you getting hit in the face for that shit because you won't get out of the car. You don't know what's wrong with this fucking But, 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 you gotta think. You gotta think. I'm doing nothing, I get punched. Hey, you, hey, you brave, you brave cat. With all this shit on, you real brave to be punching on choking people, man. You wrong. I'm gonna tell you something. And I'm mark my word. If you don't stop, God gonna get you, bruh. I'm for real now. If you don't slow down and do right, God gonna get you, man. I'm for real, bruh. I don't care how much hatred you have against me. You hate, When you hate me, you hate God too, bruh. I'm telling you now, we, we might be different, but deep down inside, we the same motherfucker. For real, I don't care what's going on or what you think of conspiracy, my nigga. On, on some real, you had no business choking and pulling on me like that. I would have complied only if you would let me know what the f was going on. I come out my yard, everybody swarming me and punching me and throwing me on the ground. That's ruthless, that's thuggish. Y'all call us motherfuckers.
Miles continues to give the officer a piece of his mind for how poorly and disgracefully he handled the situation, really showing his inner colors of being bigoted and racially biased. If only the officers had explained the situation and their agenda, this outcome wouldn't be necessary at all. Miles's did not have to get hurt that day. As Miles tries to have a logical conversation with the supervising officer, that the police were the ones who were the aggressors, and that the unnecessary show of force was very much not needed. Oh, I'm like, what the f going on? And then you order me to get out the car for what? I don't suppose to step out of my comfort zone. Come on, y'all know better than that. This man you choking me. Nine zero seven. People died over choking this shit. I got grandbabies and children. Well, the good news is that you're alive and you're kicking and you're doing something. It's wrong. It's wrong. For real. You had, you had no been to choking me, bruh. That brought back a lot of flashbacks, bruh. You going down for that one, for real? I want everything you going down to take my life, you going down. For choking me, you going down. I'm not threatening you, but God gonna get you, bruh. For real, you ain't had to put your hand on my neck. It ain't that serious. For whatever you looking for, bruh, it ain't that serious. Uh, the officers inform him of their plans to perform a search on his car, and Miles, trying to assert his constitutional rights, immediately declines. But this is of no concern or worry to these tyrants as they go about their search anyways. No matter how many times the service dog makes passes around the exterior of the car, not a single time did his tail even wag a little extra. With the attending officer also giving the confirmation that not even a little bit of excitement was detected from the dog. A real shame for Officer Barano to hear. It's important to mention that the house Miles actually left was of his own grandchild, so it was no surprise that they arrived onto the scene upon hearing about the news as well. Yeah, right there. He's choking me. Yeah? Okay. Yep. Choking me. Oh, got a lawyer. Yeah. 
The women aren't taking any sort of misleading statements from the police. They come in and try their best to defend Miles, to try and prove to them that he is in fact innocent and needs to be let go after the beating the cops just dished out. Hey, were y'all able to secure the box? Hey, they secured the box. Huh? They secured it. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're going to grab the box, we're going to go and search this. Anything else we find here? All right, where y'all at now? All right. All right, man. All right, bye. There was no other piece of more hard evidence than the fact that the box of drugs had been secured intact. This directly acquitted Miles of any reasonable suspicion that the police could rightfully have over him. Alright, gotcha. I got a bag like this. You didn't admit to searching. Uh, huh? You didn't admit to using marijuana. No, I did. Is she saying this might be in there still? Radio is in there. These tyrants ultimately decide to shut Miles away in a car and proceed with the search of his vehicle themselves, but this would only add to their shock and disappointment. Just do the um, instant to arrest, we'll um, hand it over rather than tow it to kind of. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I mean, I heard you explaining it. What do you say? We don't know who could have had the box. Is that urine? Yeah. Actually, there's a charge for that, too. Right, I'll get a bag to secure that. Yeah. I think that's a ledger. 
as they tirelessly continue to search the car in hopes for some piece of evidence that could help them get out of the hole that they had dug themselves in. Yeah, I mean, he has a couple names on this one. Those aren't the only corrupt scum. Wait till you see how the CCTV footage recorded a cop being his true self. Open your hand and break your fingers. On July 27, 2018, Lilia Matina was just dropping her child off at the local PD for a custody change in Ohio. And that was when she had an unfortunate run-in with the police. She tried to resist at first, but it was not well received by these corrupt cops. One of them didn't even waste time to subjugate her to the road. So much so, even her mother followed in worry. As if dragging the poor woman away was not enough, they even took her inside and pinned her against the wall. And for what reason? She simply recorded a custody exchange of her own child. How can this justify subjecting her to such excruciating restraints? Four officers against a single woman who's not even a criminal. They're nothing but a pack of pigs. And this tone that they use next, despite manhandling the poor woman, will show exactly that. After what this mother endured that day, she had no choice but to file an official lawsuit citing the officers for excessive force, wrongful arrest, malicious prosecution, and engaging in a civil conspiracy with her ex-husband, who wanted to enact revenge for her role in his 2015 arrest on domestic violence and kidnapping charges. But these officers aren't the only ones who pile up on innocent citizens when threatened by a mere camera. We've got a whole bunch of officers rearing to stomp on people's rights in the next case. Over me, I don't like I'm you. not. I'm speaking to you in my normal voice. You have no authority over me. 
Okay. Actually, I do. In December 2021, a YouTube auditor, Sean, also known as Long Island Audit, visited the town hall in Ramapo, New York to practice his First Amendment right to film in public. However, not one but many cops are not too keen on the idea. Today we are at the town hall here in Ramapo, New York. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants treat us with respect and respect our rights. Let's get into it. Excuse me? No one else? Has, she doesn't have a mask. They don't have masks. They don't have masks, ma'am. But they don't have masks. How can you? just came out the office. Okay. So what does that mean? Why you? Why, don't videotape me. What? I'm, I'm, a, I'm going to videotape you. Why? For sure. Because I. that's what I do. Transparency and accountability, ma'am. You need a mask. Okay, let me call the You can call whoever you'd like, ma'am. The initial roadblock in his way was this woman, oozing entitlement for no apparent reason. Despite others passing by in masks, she fixated on Sean. No doubt, she was gearing up to dial the cops. But as if she weren't enough, Sean barely had time to blink before running into yet another one of her kind. Sir? Yes, ma'am. Are, are you videotaping? I am videotaping. That's correct. What happened? What Why do you mean? You Why? Yeah. I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. Who are you? I'm Penny Mann. I work in the supervisor's office. Penny? Yes. Mann? Yes. You work in the supervisor's office? Yeah. Okay. And um, you can't videotape in here. Why can't Why can't I videotape in here? It's, it's not legal to videotape. It's not legal. No. Oh, do you have business here? I'll put it that way to you. Do you have business here? Yeah, of course I have business here. Okay. What is it? This is a public building, ma'am. I don't. I, why I would I need to that. explain to you my I, business I here? I understand that. And you get no argument. Okay. This is a public building. Okay, great. I'm glad we can agree on that. Exactly. So, do you have business here? Is there an office that you're going to? There's a smile on her face, but she's definitely hinting on get lost. It's these kinds of Karens who get on your nerves the most. Of course you're allowed to film there. It's no one's breach of privacy since it's a public building. But these people don't seem to get that. It's a public building. So, it's open to, to the public. Loiter. It's you not loitering. Loiter. I just told you I'm an independent journalist. Uh, okay. I have freedom so of press, man. Do you have a reason to be here? Yes, I do. I just told you. I'm an you independent journalist. Your hat says, we the people. We the people. Yes, my hat. You like we're, it? We're all the... I love the hat. I love the hat. Okay. Great. I'm happy. We're all the people. Hey, you, you can grab me one if you want, if we're all going to follow the rules now. Why are you taking it? Let me ask you that. I, I, I just... I don't I know. know. I feel like we're going around a circle. I'm an independent no. journalist working on a story. Okay. What is your story? My story... I, I don't want to divulge that until it's published. Okay. I don't want to divulge that. Not, not right now. This time. Thank you, ma'am. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It seems that Sean's camera was a bigger issue for the people than, let's say, actual criminals. Because look what they do next. I'm sorry? You charge for pictures. You, you charge for pictures? How much? <laughs> Don't say nothing. You charge for pictures. For you? For me? Who? Who? These three officers over here? You can stay right there. That's fine. You don't need to approach me. Excuse me? You can stay right there. I don't need to approach you? No, you can stay right back there. You can walk back that way. Ma'am. You can, can walk you... back that way. Yeah. Keep walking wanna... back that way. Can you de-escalate a little bit? Because I feel like you're trying to just exert your authority over me and I don't like I'm it. I'm not. While asking Sean to keep a distance, this woman really did end up all in his face. Those women from before and this officer are just two peas in a pod. They don't mind throwing themselves at you, but will be butthurt over a camera. Boys. You have no authority over me. Okay? Actually, I do. I'm in a public building. I'm conducting lawful asking business. You to leave. I'm conducting lawful business. No, they didn't. That's yes, a lie. Yes, they did. They did not ask me to they leave. They asked you to leave and they said that you I'm were conducting no business. allowed to be I'm here. I'm conducting business. So therefore, you need to leave the location. I'm conducting business. I'm doing a Freedom of Information Act request. They asked you to leave. And so you're saying, can I get a supervisor here? I'm conducting lawful business. I'm an okay. independent journalist exercising okay. my freedom of, freedom of press right. Okay. It's a right, not a privilege. Well, right now, we were called here by the people who work in this office building. Okay. They are concerned for their safety and their well-being that there is somebody in here. They've asked you to step out and to leave and to stop they did, video. They did not. Here. I have it on camera. They did not ask me to leave. Okay. Well, that's what they're relaying to us. Okay, so that's a that lie. that's why we are here right now. I'm not going to dispute truth or fact right now. I'm going to tell you that is why we're here right now. We are going to conduct our investigation. That's fine. Okay. Conduct whatever to, investigation you like. for your ID. 
because we do need to know who we're speaking with right now. You're going to ask for That's my ID. Part, yes, I so am. That's in order, part of our investigation. Okay, in order for me, for, I just want to just, I, I, I listen to you, so I would ask you just listen to me. I don't need to assist you in your investigation. I don't work for the police department. Uh -huh. I don't want to assist you in your investigation into me for whatever reason. Do you have a crime that you suspect me of committing? Do you have here, reasonable, here, articulable here suspicion? The investigation of the complaint, yes. Do you have reasonable, articulable suspicion I've committed a crime? We're not saying that you committed a crime. We are here to investigate a complaint right now. It's like the blind leading the blind. Even the supervisor is clueless about their own laws. Not even one person in the force to educate the others. Such a shame, honestly. Then I'm going to ask you to step out of this building and to leave this building. I'm conducting business, ma'am. Okay, at this point you were asked that, that you were not allowed welcome here anymore. You but you can't stop somebody from recording. You can't stop somebody I'm, from, from gathering. I never asked you to stop recording. That is not what I've asked you to do. I asked You're asking you to me to leave the, a public are, building, yes, ma'am. No Can I get your name? This building, My name is Sergeant Mayor. Sergeant Mayor and your badge number? Yes, 456. 456. And are you telling me that if I don't leave this building, you're going to arrest me? I'm telling you right now that you're going to leave this building. Yes. No, but I just, you, I just want to know. I said I'm not going to, to argue with you back and forth. Let's step outside. Are you an attorney, sir? Maybe maybe I can speak to you and we can we can come to a better understanding here. Well, I'm not, if, I'm not going to speak to you while you're filming me. You're free to film me, but I'm not going to have a discussion on camera with I'm you. I'm an independent journalist. Yeah, That's but you're I'm violating saying. my. But your officers, you're the supervisor, so I just want to let you know you're opening yourself up to civil. And you said you're a lawyer. You're opening yourself to civil litigation. All I'm doing is I'm peacefully filming. I'm not bothering anybody. I have to do a FOIL request with the town clerk's office. I have official business here. I'm exercising my constitutional right. That's all I'm doing peacefully. And you're gonna kick me out of a public building? I'm gonna ask you to give me one minute. Okay, great, no problem. Surprisingly, they were this dumb, even with a lawyer by their side. I don't know if that was worse or the fact that he openly walked out in fear of confrontation. So we've got hypocrite cops and cowardly lawyers that are responsible for keeping us safe, but looks like we're getting kicked out of the building for now. You guys really don't have nothing better to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight yes. officers for one man with a camera. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not. I'm not nefarious. I don't have any ill intent here. I don't understand. What's the big deal? Somebody can't film. You have cameras. One, two, three, four, five, six cameras, all over this building. What's the difference? I don't understand. Seems like a big waste of resources for your city here. What you say? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Oh yeah. Uh, my last name's Mitchell. Mitchell. Yeah. And your badge number? Four nine six. Thank you, Mitchell. Can I get your name? No, I'm not going to give it. No. What yeah, are you here I'm for? In, I just showed up. I don't even know what's going on. I'm in fear of retaliation, so I don't, I'm not going to give my name. It's my Fourth Amendment right. Oh. No, I'm just here. I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story, doing a Freedom of Information Act request. That's all I'm doing here. What'd they call us? I don't know because I'm because I have a camera in my hand. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Doesn't make sense to me either. While Sean was having a friendly chat with the other cops, there was still one Karen in the bunch who tried to intimidate him. You know, the funny part is that it's not that mean supervisor we previously saw. The whole precinct is corrupt as hell. Excuse me? Though, are, am, I, am I being detained? You are being asked to stay here for our investigation. Am I being detained? You are temporarily being detained as, okay. we, as we commit our investigation. Unlawful detainment. You can call it how you... It is an unlawful... You have to learn the law. If you're going to uphold the law, you took an oath to the Constitution. Freedom of press is part of the Constitution. You have to... If you're going to uphold it, you have to learn it. This is an illegal detainment. You can't detain me unless, you've, unless you suspect that I'm committing a crime. This is all things you should have learned in the academy. And as a supervisor, I think that's, you know, you should really know. You cannot detain somebody legally without you having uh, suspected me of committing a crime. It's a good thing they're wearing masks. I would be hella embarrassed if someone else comes and schools me about my own job. Thank you, Lieutenant. You guys are dismissed. Please don't detain me unlawfully anymore. No, what's detaining you? She, no, 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 no. No. I, if he's not doing anything illegal or dangerous or disruptive, exactly. that's fine with me. It's, it's my right to be in this building. All right. As long as he this is a taxpayer's building. The rules, then this is a taxpayer's okay. building. Right. As as okay but thank you very building. much. And, and by the way, she did detain me. Oh, Just so you know. Just so you know, it's on it's on, it's on camera. She okay. did detain me. Well, I'm not so that's an unlawful detainment. Well, I'm not detaining you. But okay. That's all there is. Great. Take care, guys. This is the biggest uh, walk of shame I've ever seen. Completely insane, uncalled for. Sean did end up filing a complaint against the officers to teach them a lesson so no other citizen can get bullied for what they're practicing. But these officers aren't the only ones that have a problem with citizens. This next cop takes it to another level by racially profiling a seemingly normal person. Sir, turn around. I'm done. 
So you're going to arrest me? I'm detaining you. For, for, for what? For what? On October 29th, 2018, West Des Moines police officer Clint Ray responded to a call of a suspicious person going door to door handing out flyers. The cop finds the man, who is a Republican campaign worker, Keelon Hill, campaigning for U.S. Rep. David Young. Hi, sir. Yes, I'm off straight to West Moines Police Department. Um, the reason why I'm talking to you today is someone called in about you. Are, are you just handing out flyers? What, what, what am I doing wrong? I didn't know. I, people were concerned. Yeah, concerned for what? Their neighborhoods. Hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second, Ricky. So it's not a big deal? Yeah, no, I'm just trying to figure out what we were concerned about. Well, in West Des Moines, we have a soliciting ordinance, so if you're knocking on people's doors... Yeah, soliciting is what? Offering services? Yeah. I'm not offering a service. Okay. Okay, so with that being said, I'd like you to leave me alone, sir. I've not broken any laws. Well, I'm still doing an investigation because if you're recording anyway, me, I'm still recording too, so it's okay. Investigating what, sir? A suspicious person. They, they called in about you. Okay. You have your you have an ID with you? No, I don't. Do you have your name? Have your name? No. <laughs> Am I under arrest? No. Okay. Well, so I'm if investigating. Under arrest, then you what? have no reason to be talking to me, right? I sure I can actually. Yes, you're a suspicious person. Someone suspicious, called in about you. suspicious how? Some, a neighbor, a neighbor called, called over here, so I don't understand why you're being difficult. It's baffling how easily some officers jump to conclusions based solely on a vague suspicion. Is it really that simple to lead them astray? Okay. So with that being said, I'll go about my business. Up. Okay, I'm not done with you yet. You're not free to go. Have I done it? Have I broken any laws? Can you send me one this way, please? He's have I broken any laws, sir? I'm talking to you. I'm not done. I'm, just, I'm investigating a suspicious person. You have a nice day, sir. Stop. Stop now. For what? I can detain you. Stop. For what? Because you're not listening. I'm investigating nope. a suspicious if, person. Stop sir, now. Sir, have I, have I broken any laws? Stop. Tell me what laws I've broken. I sir. told you to stop. I don't have to stop. Yes. You know you I will. don't. Either arrest me, tell me what 55. laws I've broken, can you or step, get away from step me. it up. He's being uncooperative and trying to walk away from me. He won't <laughs> identify himself as a suspicious <laughs> no, person I, I'm investigating. I, I know my rights. I know my rights. That's a phrase officers dread hearing. For what? You're not listening. I'm doing an investigation of a suspicious what? person. A uh, suspicious person? Have I broken yeah. any laws? It doesn't, it doesn't, that's have not I the point. Have broken any laws? Someone called you and it's a suspicious person. Okay, and? You and can that be a suspicious person, Mr. Really? Ray? Really? I, I feel like you're a suspicious person. How would I be suspicious? You look suspicious to me. Okay, how would that be? I'm in you're, a marked you're police car. You're a white car. man. You're, you're, you're uh, suspicious to me. I'm suspicious to you because yeah. I'm a white person. Yeah, with a gun. You're suspicious to me. No, now stop. Get away from me. He'll use Ray's own logic against him, but it still didn't make sense to him. Listen to me. I'm gonna tell you one more time. I don't time. care who you work for. You don't care who I work for. The person I work for pays you. So I'm, yeah, I'm gonna tell fine. you one more time to get away from me. Leave me yeah. alone. You're gonna. You're so leave me alone. Get away from me. That being. Yes, I can. For what? Because you're not listening to my directions. You're not following. Me. Sir. Around. I know. Sir. Just turn around. I'm done. So you're gonna arrest me. I'm detaining for, you. Uh, for, for what? For what? Be for, for what? For what? This cop was really not using his mind. I guess most of it was utilized in finding his next racial target for the day. I'm done. So you're gonna arrest me? I'm detaining for, you. Uh, for, for what? For what? Be resistive. For, for what? Because you're not listening to what I'm saying. Do not be resistive towards me. All right. I'll back my car. <laughs> All right. You you you. Done I'm it. detained. You have done it. I ask you to identify for yourself what? because you're. I'm investing a suspicious person. Someone right. had someone so, had worry. Worried about what? Have I have I tried to enter anyone's property? They were concerned, so yes, you're gonna. Okay, no, I have not. Show me, show me evidence where I've entered someone's property. And evidence is exactly what Ray had none of. Sad to see that cops forget the investigation part of their investigation and just stoop to pure intimidation. Just you let me out of these handcuffs immediately. Well, Sorry, you, could, could you could you tell him to, to take me out of these handcuffs? I have not broken any laws. Okay, did you stop when he told you to? No, he kept yeah. walking okay, away. Then that's interference. So you're under arrest. In, interference for what? Interference. You just disobeyed you a lawful sitting, order. You were sitting right there and I told you to stop four or five times to identify yourself because there was a suspicious Sorry. person car, and I'm investigating that. Investigating what? I have not done anything. Okay. You he, can't just run up on a, on anyone and just say, hey, you're, you look okay. suspicious. Okay. He told you to stop. He didn't. And we had calls this, on this you, is, like I told you. You're practicing stop and frisk right now. I've not no. no, you're under arrest. So. Under arrest for what? Under arrest for what? What have I done wrong? Two dumb cops are better than one, I guess. Not only did this other cop fully agree with Ray, he told Hill that he was under arrest and frisked him without any consent. You didn't identify yourself. Okay. You didn't stop when we asked you to. Okay. okay. Okay, right. this is what I'm asking. That's all I'm all asking right. for is your name all and right. date of birth, man. All right, okay. So I can log someone. Okay.
so what's the what what's the issue here, man? There is Why, an issue. Sit I back done here. Anything wrong? Sit you. back here. I have not done a, a thing. Why wrong. would you not listen to me? Because I have not done anything wrong, sir. Let me out of these handcuffs immediately. Sit back here. Okay. All the way in. I just want to log him and get him out of here because people were concerned because he well, was... Put him in custody. If he's going to walk away, don't, don't let him uh. play that game because he's just going to keep playing it next time. He's going to think that he can now just walk away from cops, but if he doesn't want to stop, he just doesn't have to. As the two fools support each other's dumb logic, Ray arrested Hill on a charge of harassment of a public official, which basically alleges Hill interfered with Ray's ability to investigate the report. And remember, all of this was set in motion by a highly speculative call to police. Hill was acquitted of misdemeanor, according to his lawyer, Gina Messimer. In November, Iowa Citizens for Community Improvement officials claimed the incident was a case of racial profiling. Sergeant Dan Wade defended Ray, saying that's what was expected of him. This absolutely was above board. The, the officer interacted in a way that, and in this case, we've determined that the officer did nothing wrong. And that's all there is for today. Do you think that the first cops racially profiled the poor guy? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the next one. Thanks for watching. This is Detective Mystery signing off.